Well, welcome back to the Watercrest Line for Vintage Vehicles Weekend again. Now, one question we do commonly get asked on a footplate is, do we cook our bacon eggs on the shovel in the morning? And the frank answer is no, we go down to the West Country Buffet because the food there is superb. But this got us thinking, a bit like last year, we're gonna do some cooking, but we're not just gonna use a steam locomotive. We're gonna use something a little bit different. Once again, it was time for the Vintage Vehicles Weekend. A busy weekend which saw the railway packed with a wide variety of exhibits, from traction engines to vintage cars. But before we did anything, it was only fitting to catch up with one of the organisers, David, a driver at the Wardcrest line who spends a lot of his time working with these amazing machines. So Dave, thanks again for talking to us. This is uh, the second or third one we This is this. Third one of sorts, but second official one. Fantastic. The, the, the first one was a go for it, but th last year was the first one, and t this one is a, the next one. Yeah. As you can see, it's a big success. So we've got a bit more this year, haven't we? we we've got, yes, we have, yeah. We've got a few more miniatures, a few more cars, a few more bikes, and, and a different variety of engines as well, as you can see. Excellent. So you brought um, your two Watty and Lion down. How's the journey down on this one? I saw lots of Facebook posts of uh, where's Watty. It went extremely up. well, to be very honest with you. We had a good run both days, good weather. Uh, the, the tail end of the first day was a bit wet, as usual. It wouldn't be right if it wasn't wet. Yeah. Uh, and then the that. second day was a good run. In fact, we were way ahead of our schedule on the second day. So if anybody was out there that missed us, we apologise. <laughs> <laughs> on a practicality terms, what's it like operating these on um, Kind of the road network is there a lot of planning it's, involved yeah. there is a lot of planning for us it is we, we'd like to make sure that we know our route that we've driven it a few times just to make sure the more more to the point with the planning is where the water stops are um, we, we we have been lucky that we've planned it so that we're lifting water with its own uh, in, in a lifting device so it lifts straight out of rivers and we planned all of those on the route so there was a little bit of planning towards it to do it again and, and, and helps that we did it last year. So these two, these two kind of you normally operate to, together or is this kind of the first time you managed to get them? They were many moons ago, they were stable mates together. Um, we used to operate them both but um, they, this is now owned by the Saunders family, the Lion. Uh, we've been lucky enough that they've, they've kept us on board to help run it and we appreciate that from the family so that's the, uh, and it's, it's just been great to pair them back up again to be very honest there's a little bit of uh, playing on my side but yes we, we did try that. hey it worked it looks brilliant dave thank you so much for you're very to us, welcome um, we'll let you get on with thank it thank you very much will take oh, care you too. a little bonus fun fact if you've come down to water Stein, you might have seen this headboard the zets on tour and that's because dave ben and tom the three brothers occasionally do foot plate together so they take their headboard out but you may have seen it in other places as well you see, Dave and Ben both work for London Underground and they're involved in pretty much anything heritage that operates under there, including steam on the Met. So, when they have the opportunity to crew it, they took the opportunity to take the headboard with them. But anyway, on to the tasty part of this video. So, on to the cooking part. Now, our main course of lamb is currently in the smoke box of a 7F, trundling up and down the line. Now, since it's the Vintage Vehicle Valley, we thought we could do one better, and we've never ever cooked on a steam crane before. So, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Now, we have got three steam cranes here at the Watercrest Line. The one behind me is a 10-tonner, which was designed for the civils department, so track work and that sort of engineering, rather than our breakdown crane, which is more for lifting rolling stock back onto the track. Now, Jamie, one of our crane drivers, is currently making some fajitas, I believe, homemade. So, it's gonna be interesting to see just how they taste. Now, Jamie had well and truly excelled himself. Homemade tortillas, which he rolled out before toasting in the firebox, marinated chicken, and some salad, which the two fills from the carriage maintenance team were preparing. That is, when they weren't lobbing it around the place. Once Jamie was ready, we gathered around the cab to try out his creation, which certainly proved a treat. Delicious, flavoursome chicken with a hint of spice, and Jamie certainly seemed happy. The steam crane proved to be an excellent oven. However, Ben, who was on the 7F, would have a bit more of a challenge. And here's why. 
Now for the main part of the meal, we've already got that accounted for. See, this morning when Ben was lighting up, he put a beautiful bit of lamb and some veg in a fantastic stew into the smoke box. Uh, now this recipe is actually for kind of a slow cook five hour fare, which doesn't really um, happen with steam locomotives. Steam locomotives don't work at a constant temperature unless they're doing constant work. When the engine's going downhill like this, the engine's gonna be cool, the smoke box is gonna be cool. However, when it's working hard uphill, like it does on half a line, it's really gonna pick up the heat and cook a bit quicker. So I suppose really the ultimate test is gonna be, what's it gonna be like when they come back to Gottlieb? Don't know about you, I can't wait. Once Ben's train had returned to Gottlieb, and he'd taken out the pot out of the smoke box. It was the moment of truth. Was a delicious lunch on the cards, or were we going hungry? The lid came off, and to our delight, the lamb was cooked beautifully. I was joined by Jamie, David's brother Ben, and occasionally photobombed by one of our film's unit cameramen, Rich. But we all tucked into a hearty lunch, which got us thinking. So how do you actually measure this on the menu then? Distance, run, number of stations That's approved? That's important because yeah, normally it's like slow cook on a low heat for five gas hours. Mark, but gas mark, one, one in 60. Enough. Maybe you should just do it for like, you've got to go X number of miles, you know? That's what, has anyone ever tried doing a souffle on an engine? <laughs> how quick would you have to do that? <laughs> that would be a test. <laughs> actually yeah, no, I challenge anyone I watching. Even, I think even all foot to rock would be too slow. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I challenge anyone watching this is a railway a buff. A souffle in a locomotive. Then we'll be impressed. With our appetites well and truly satisfied, it was time for Ben's train to continue its journey up the line. So drew an end to the proceedings, and quite a feast. I have to admit, folks, that actually went really well. There was a moment when Ben did pull out the cast iron pot. I was wondering if it would still be there. But, you know... Do love cooking on the footplate. So there you are, folks. Not exactly a traditional meal, but, you know, something a little bit different. So before we go, um, once again, it's fantastic when we do get to meet some of you guys. And um, I always try and ask, what would you like to see? And the most common request is, of course, outtakes. So, you know, folks, it's been a while since we've done one. We're going to do an outtakes ending. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I leave you with the wonderful scene of Phil and Phil doing their absolute best to distract me while filming. See you next time. Now, our main course of lamb is currently in the smoke box of a 7F, trundling up and down the line. But, you know, this is a vintage vehicle valley, so we thought we could do one better. We've never cooked in front of a steam train before. <laughs> Why am I seeing cabbage flying behind me? <laughs> Should say, folks, this is Rich, he's normally behind the camera. How short, how short he's the sensible there. one out of us two. I'm off. Welcome to the Vintage Vehicle Weekend, and welcome to In The Loop. We're going backwards. Oh dear. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Extra details on, like the chalkboards to marking the destinations. Now, onwards to the boiler shop. Oi! <laughs> ah! what? <laughs> now, onwards to the... Damn it, I got so close to the end. <laughs> Phil, your name's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> and we shall see you next time. Uh -huh.